It's the United States versus Great Britain. Edward the Buckman engine versus Edward the Hornby engine. Which of these top rated toy trains in the USA and UK will win in a series of tests on style, strength and sheer power? Edward the Blue Engine is my favourite character in the series, and the Buckman model recreates Edward, as I remember him, in the original series of Thomas the Tank Engine and Friends, perfectly. There's no two ways about it. Aesthetically, this is the best model in the range. Overall shape, proportions, colour, and the character's face are captured perfectly. The usual Buckman traits of separately fitted lamp irons are present, and Edward has tension lock couplings in front and rear, unlike the Buckman James. Axle boxes, dummy couplings and vacuum pipes are all painted black to match the TV series character. It really is a joy to behold this one. Well done, Backman. Now for the Hornby Edward, in which this particular example, for the eagle-eyed among you, has appeared in other videos on YouTube. This one has scale couplings fitted to the front, amongst other details. Points for whoever guesses where this model comes from first. There's no getting around the fact that Hornby picked a poor prototype for their Edward model. They use their XD49 body shell to portray Edward, and while the wheel arrangement is correct, the model just doesn't really capture Edward the character, or come close to a realistic model of Edward. For comparison, here's the Hornby 2P model. Now this model has formed the basis for many fans' own representations of Edward over the years. It doesn't have the outside steam pipes of the D49 model, which no longer has any cylinders, nor the ridiculously high chimney which simply does not work on the model. Probably the only saving grace on the whole Hornby model is its tender, which houses the same powerful motor as its James model. The two tenders are, of course, identical, save for paintwork. Now we move on to the test of strength. In the haulage capacity test, each model has to pull a train of coaches, the standard coach being used for this test, the ubiquitous Hornby Mark I coach. The weight of one Hornby Mark I coach is 5 ounces, roughly 140 grams. The winner is the engine that pulls the heaviest load. The Buckman Edward is loco drive, and it weighs 4 ounces, that's 113 grams. The Hornby Edward gains its power from the motor in the tender, and its weight was 7 ounces, 200 grams. I tested the two models and counted the number of coaches each model could pull easily. The Hornby Edward pulled 12 coaches with absolute ease. It was simply no contest. That Hornby tender drive mechanism is an absolute beast. Bachman Edward performed valiantly. Its small size and weight surprising everyone with eight coaches pulled, albeit with wheels pounding the rails furiously. For its power to weight ratio, the Bachman Edward is a rather surprising model. The next test was the tug of war. Tug of War utilises a specially made double track line, where two locos will pull and push against each other to see which is stronger. This track has been wired up to allow the models to run on 16 volts together at the same time. It's Edward versus Edward. This was simply no contest. The Hornby Edward has traction tyres and is heavier overall. Backman Edward may be valiant, but it's still outclassed by its heavier opponent. Now for the final test, a test of speed. The time trial test consists of a race around the Copley Hill circuit, a generic train set oval. Each model will be timed speeding around the Copley Hill circuit, the winner putting in the fastest time. First up is the Backman Edward, and he's away! And across the line. Now it's Hornby, and he's away! Now for the times. The Backman Edward completed the circuit in exactly 12 seconds. The Hornby Edward did it in 6.4 seconds. So the current leaderboard is as follows. There's no getting around it. The Backman models are much slower overall than their Hornby counterparts. But has there ever been such a difference between two models of the same character? Hornby Edward storms up to second place in the leaderboard, a position appropriate for its number, as is the Backman Edward in second to last. We move on now to the recommended retail price of the two models for 2011.
The recommended retail price for the Backman Edward is $86, which is £52.67. The recommended retail price for the Hornby Edward was £93.25, which is $152.25, but Hornby have now massively discounted this model to a recommended retail price of £49.99, which is $81.62. This means, for the first time this series, a Hornby model is cheaper than its Buckman equivalent. Is it worth it? Absolutely not. The Hornby model just does not capture the character or the essence of its prototype in any way, shape or form. The Buckman model, despite being weaker and slower overall, just captures the character in a way that none of the previous models from either range have done. It's in my opinion the best model of the lot and comes highly recommended by me. In the last episode, Team Thomas won by default because the Spencer models couldn't be bothered. Now, can they win against the two octogenarians of the Thomas and Friends world? It's Team Thomas versus Team Edward! Oh dear, it appears the young scallywags have taken the pensioners apart. So on that bombshell, it's time to end. Until next time, thank you very much for watching.